I'm very well, thank you. Congratulations on winning a Grammy Award last night. Thank you. You didn't go. No. Why didn't you go? Because I, I had to be here, so. You blew off the Grammys for us? <laughs> to meet you. I don't know if you've heard, but I'm a big fan of yours. You know what? I, someone actually told me while you were doing the, uh, the uh, Flintstones mm -hmm. that that's all you listened to was the Rhythm Nation. The album. Rhythm Nation. People yeah, that got back today. to me. Yeah. Really? I loved yeah. it. I oh, used to blast you. it all the time in the trailer. And Rick Moranis and John Goodman were like, it's 6 a.m. Why is it so loud? And I'm like, shut up! People of the world. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and I love the new CD, Velvet Rope. Now, what's the, what's the deal with that title? What does that come from? Well, God, it's a, a really long, uh, it takes a, a good while to explain, so I'll just try to, the Velvet Rope is, is the need I feel that we all have to feel special. Yeah. And this need brings out different sides in us. It can bring out the best or the worst in us. And, and just through my life, I've seen different Velvet Ropes, uh, different ropes put up. It, it, it um, separates us from others. It, it doesn't allow others to get to know who we are. And it also doesn't allow us to get to know ourselves, this rope. So within this album, it's putting that velvet rope down and allowing the people to get to know who I really am. Oh, that's really beautiful, Janet. Yes. I saw you with these um, Mickey ears on, yeah, right? Yeah. Well, it's, right here, this is Goof, the top of Goofy's hat right there. Oh, really? That's like Goofy shirt. This was yeah. your Goofy shirt. You remember it? Yes. Now, very well. You, what age were you on Good Times? How old were you there? I was 10. You were 10 years mm -hmm. old. Yeah. And what, you just <clears> told <throat> your parents I want to be on a sitcom? Because singing was no. the most, the big thing, right? No, yes, it was. But actually, no, actually, I started really acting first. But um, no, I, 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 I didn't. I the, I heard that Norman Lear wanted to see me, and um, I auditioned for this part, and we did this um, improv, and he was my, my father who gave me this tie. I gave him a tie for his birthday, and he hated it. Right. And it got very dramatic and very emotional. And, and as I was walking down the corridor, he said, hey, Janet, if you want the part, you can have it. So that's how it... Uh, that was it? Did yes. you like doing a sitcom? Yes, I did. I, I enjoyed it very much. I missed being with my family, but it was like my second family, and I enjoyed it. Well, we go from a cute little shot of you like that to you pretty much nude with some guy's hands on your movie. <laughs> a lot of people auditioned to be those hands, I think. There were a lot of people lining up going, could that be me, please? You know what's so funny? What? I've seen this everywhere, like takes on this picture. Uh -huh. uh, just recently, like on the cover of another magazine is, is uh, South Park, the show. Yeah. And. The chef is holding a Cartman's <laughs> boobs. Really? Yeah, I've seen it so much, and it's so funny to me. Can I tell you something? If I looked like this naked, I would be naked right now. <laughs> I would. I would have some person behind me. Hello, and welcome to my show. Hope you're enjoying watching the program. <laughs> All right, then, Janet, we move on to the next magazine. Uh. Now, I'm looking at this, I'm thinking, <coughs> hello. And uh, then I noticed up close and personal, there's a little ring on the booby yeah. area. And I thought it was maybe a brooch attached to the, um, attached, to but the it's not really, is it? No, it's, what, what? it's real. It's a, yeah. it's a little nipple ring. Yeah. Well, not so little, but yes. <laughs> now, did it hurt? Um, uh, you know, I've been pierced a couple of times. I have a couple of piercings, but that's the only one that made me curse a little bit. It made you curse a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you have Mickey Mouse down here and you oh, you to wear line. See that. I saw Mickey well, Mouse Minnie's right there. down there too. It's but... Mickey and Minnie? Yeah, but we won't say what they're doing. So. Oh my. <laughs> Actually, Minnie's doing something to Mickey, is what it is. I have a tattoo. 
It's a nice little cross heart and flowers. There's nobody doing anything illicit on there. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm so happy I shaved my legs this no, morning. No, Rosie. What? I got some lotion in my purse. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Look at that. Look at how scaly it is. <laughs> Not good. Not good. Oh, my God. <laughs> and you think this leg is white? This leg has seen the sun. You should see my tummy. I have never <laughs> in my life worn a two-piece anything. My tummy is white. When I am in the street, walking in the summer, people scream to me, Casper, turn it off! <laughs> I'm so bright. I know, I'm a little too awkward. I know, when, when I'm like that, or like, when we're rehearsal and the kids see me and I, my legs are kind of ashy, they say it looks like I've been kicking flour. Kicking <laughs> flour? <laughs> All right, whatever. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking of getting maybe. Oh, no, no, I don't want to say that. No, wait a minute. What? What? Uh, uh, no, don't tell that. Don't tell that. That was at a commercial, don't tell them. You sure? Don't tell them. But you shouldn't, okay, I won't, I won't. But you shouldn't be embarrassed. I don't know. I won't. Look at you. See, they want to know.